So we wanted to know how much of a year has passed between these two dates. We took this away from this, what percentage, what decimal part of a date has elapsed between those two dates. We could use year frac. Year frac. So we give it a start date, comma, an end date. And then you've got this complicated business about basis. Now, one is the most accurate basis on which to do this calculation. So we'll go for that. But if you are interested in the different bases that are available in that function, I've written some little notes there for you. You can read those in your own leisure. I'm just going to copy those down and you can see we've got a kind of a decimal answer there. I could show that as a percentage by formatting the cells as a percentage. So 52% of a year has elapsed between those two dates. Or I could even up here show it as an actual fraction. I'm going to keep it just as general. Now, what I could do with that calculation is work out pro rata an annual fee. So I could say, for example, this times this annual fee, which I need to fix. And then I could copy that down. So that might be an application for the year frac function.